Welcome back to another video guys out here with the side-by-side -side Kimco UXV 450i. Got a couple things we'd like to do today. One is the oil change and the second one is going to be a brand new custom fold down windshield purchased it off ebay found somebody on there who makes them saving some money from buying it from the factory or adding it on so super excited we'll get more in depth with that in a minute but before we get into it as always make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe i'm trying to make the videos i'm just waiting for the weather to get a little warmer we have some new stuff for the jet ski so i just can't wait to share it with everybody and get going in summer but we got about 30 days left may 31st memorial day weekend before we can get in the water get things going so we're just tidying up getting the garden planted getting some other stuff done so if you would like to see that let me know down in the comments i'd be more than happy to film stuff we have cows donkeys chickens bees we're doing all kinds of things so otherwise let's get into the video so the oil filter is on the back side that's where you're going to be able to access it get a little wrench on that it's obviously going to make a mess we took that skid plate off you can see the gap there there's three holes in the rear skid plate which i'm not going to take off but if any oil drops which it will uh, at least it'll go forward into the pan i'll have underneath and then underneath once you take the skid plate off and your drain bolt's going to be right there we're going to be using a 19 millimeter socket for the drain bolt and then i was using a t20 that's the correct size for the skid plate uh, bolts Alrighty, so super windy, sorry about the wind noise, but we've got the filter on and we have the drain bolt reinstalled, everything cleaned up nice. Uh, now we have to add oil. We have a couple, we got the long funnel that I'm gonna go all the way down to the filler cap. Yeah, down there. Uh, and then we'll use the bigger funnel to put inside of this so we can try not to make a mess. Oil recommendations are in the manual based off temperature. I went with a uh, 10W40 kind of cover all bases. Alrighty, so now we're gonna get to this windshield. Now all the information is down below. Now this is not a sponsored video, but this windshield is super cool and a really good price for what it is. Supposed to fit really good. They make them for all kinds of side-by-sides. You can check out their website. Like I said, all that information is down below. Alrighty, so we have the bolts on, these first clamps. Now, before you tighten them down, there are some more bolts that we're gonna have to put on the windshield that are gonna mount to the dashboard down in here. Okay, I wanted to show you the top bracket here real quick. I could have done this 100% wrong, but this is the only way that I can understand that it will fit, but it, it stays secure. We got our wing nut on the inside. We have our strap, but you can't get to the Phillips side and tighten it down all the way. So you kind of got to get creative there. So there you have it, windshield oil change. This thing is ready to go for summer. I think we have 280 miles on it, almost 300 miles and 90 hours, something like that. I'll have to get back in there and double check, but I'm super excited. It's crystal clear, like you almost can't even see that it's on. There are special cleaning instructions and some different things 
We're gonna see how it held up. I did not show how it folds down. It does have some little sticky pads. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but we'll get into that another day. Any questions, comments, leave it down below. If you see me do anything wrong, also leave it down in the comments below and I'll try to fix it. But otherwise, we're gonna leave you here. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you like, subscribe. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one.